Okay, here's a basic workflow for creating a movie in Windows Live Movie Maker. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to do New Project. And we want to go to Project and we make sure that it's widescreen 16 by 9. Now, before I do anything, I want to make sure that I know where this project is going to go and it's saved. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do Save Project As. And I'm going to choose the directory that I'm going to save to. And in this case, I'm going to save to um, save to my C drive uh, video, and I'm going to give it a name. Test movie, and save it. Now we can start to go to town. So we're going to go home. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add videos and photos. So I'm going to do add videos and photos and I'm going to go to my C drive video and in this folder I've created a folder called media and this contains all the, all the files that I'm going to use. So here are the first two files I want to use. I want to use this one and I want to use that one. So I'm going to do click on one, control click on the other to select them both and I'm going to click open and it's going to automatically drop them on the timeline. Now this is going to give me my opening credit and then the background uh, for the uh, for the titles. So if we now play this, we'll see that we're going to play the first the first graphic and then the second graphic. So what I want to do is right here, about here, I want to put on a title. So I'm going to do go to um, click here on titles and I'm going to enter a title and I'm going to do um, do bikesbybruce.com presents and I'm going to change the color of that to a dark yellow I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to stretch that out and I'm going to up the font to 48 and I'm also going to use in the down whoops uh, I'm going to drag that down to put it toward the bottom and bingo so now when you create a title it automatically creates a silly background screen and I actually want it behind this graphic here. So I'm going to drag the title over to that graphic. And then that one, I'm going to right click the remove. So now when I go back here, here's that opening screen. Let's hit play. And then we'll come over the other and that graphic will fade in. And then fade out again. And what I can do is I can double click on that graphic and I can say I want that text duration to only be four seconds. And in fact, let's make it three seconds and we'll hit play. There we go. And right here, we're going to do double click on another title and we're going to do uh, model building tips. Part two, uh, we're going to change the color to that yellow. We're going to bold it. And again, we're going to up that font a little bit. Uh, we'll push that out to the sides because we have it here as centered. And this way we'll make sure that it's centered in the graph in the screen. And we'll drag that down so it lowers it in the screen. And again, it creates that stupid black background, which I don't like. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that, we're going to drag that out after the other one. And then we're going to select that background and we're going to remove it. So now when we come here, that's going to play. And then we're going to switch to that one and we're going to hit Bikes by Bruce Presents, Model Building Tips Part 2. And then we're going to fade up to the other one. Okay. Now, we want to add all the slides. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add videos and photos. We're going to go back 
And of course, all of these have already been conveniently numbered 1 through 28. So we're going to click on the first one and then shift click on the last one so that we have them all. And then we're going to open them. And presto, it's going to automatically dump them all at the end. So now, when we come back here and we press play, And I want to pay attention when we hit that graphic what the timestamp here is. It's 11 seconds and we're going till about 14. So I want to shorten that graphic down to about 14 seconds. Because as you see we're into the other stuff there. So when I come back here and then I go back to play it, you can see that, that title keeps on going in the next one. So I'm going to double click on that title. And here I'm going to change this back down to 3 seconds. You can see it shortens it. I can probably push that out to four seconds. Uh, and maybe squeeze it in a little bit. No, let's get it in real snug to the other one. So let's see how this looks. And we go to the other one. I've done no transitions yet. I'm just getting the title sort of where I want them. And that looks pretty good. Okay. So now I've got that first opening graphic and I've got that second opening graphic which is without the stuff on the bottom so it's blank on the bottom so I get room for the titles and then I go into all the slides. Now I want to drop some music in there. So what I want to do is I want to come up here I want to click add music and actually what I want to do is I want to come back to the very beginning of the slide and I want to click add music. Add music at the current point and I'm going to go back out to on C drive, video, media. In here I'm going to find an mp3 file which is the song we're going to use and I click open and as you see it fills the whole thing because it's awful long. So what I want to do is, and um, it might be a little bit loud, uh, I'll do that volume as we go. Um, actually what I can do is I can double click this and music volume, I'm going to turn that down a little bit because I don't think we need it full volume. So now I'm just going to play it and what I want to do is I want to see, I want to look at the opening, see how long this graphic is. I might shorten that from seven seconds and then see how this plays out. And then I'm going to trim the music. So let's play it out. And I actually kind of like it the way it is. Now kind of about here, uh, before we trim this music, let's do some transitions. So what I'm curious about is to go into transitions. So if I go into uh, in the video tools, in the visual effects, or animations I should say, these are all my different transitions. So these are transitions on how one video is going to shift to the other. So you can see as I hover over one, it shows me what it's going to look like. And the kind of go-to ones are the crossfade, and the other ones I tend to like, because a lot of these, it tends to be kind of overkill when you use these really super fancy transitions, you know, the starbursts, people just go, well, that's kind of weird. Uh, the standard ones tend to be uh, this type of thing, uh, or the page turn is always uh, good to use, uh, you know, pick the direction. So. During these two graphics, I actually want to crossfade because I want one to sort of blend into the other. So I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to use this crossfade. And I'm just going to click on it. So as you can see now, I've come off of that screen and now my crossfade is here. So now if I come back to here and I hit play to preview it. Again, it's crossfade. The stuff at the bottom fades out while the titles come in. And this transition, I also want this to be a crossfade because I want it to crossfade from the graphics out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on crossfade there to apply that crossfade. So now if I come back here and I play, I get the crossfade there. The titles come in and the titles play out. And I fade in the next one. Now again, I think I'm going to stretch this slide out. I'm going to make this slide, I think I'm going to stretch it out to about 9 seconds. 
and I'm going to drag this title back in a little bit more snug and I want to preview that again. This is why video editing is such a time sink. You spend so much time previewing it, looking at it, deciding whether it looks good and uh, tweaking it and making changes to it so that it looks the way it want to. So now that I've got all that and I'm into my slide and this is sort of where my narration is going to start. So I really don't want this music playing through the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is right about here at the end of the transition, I'm going to go into the music tools and um, where is it right here split so I'm going to click split and it's going to split the track here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this right click and remove and the rest of the music track is gone so now my music stops right there that's pretty rude so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the music track and I'm going to select fade out and I'm going to select fade out medium and because I don't want it to come in really fast, like bang, really fast and loud, I'm going to select fade in, but I'm going to fade it in fast. So now we're going to see the difference in that. It's going to fade in quite quickly. Using this music volume, if I find it's a little too loud, a little too quiet, I can tweak the uh, volume of the track. And as you fades out, and then the animation, and then the, uh, the narration will start. Then I'll do the narration for each slide. And now I want to go to the end. Now I want to go down to the end again, click down at the end. And what I want to do is I want to go back to home. I want to add videos. And again, I want to select this one. and control click that one and open because those are going to be my closing screens this time I want this one to be last actually I want that one to be brief then I want this one there for some credits and then I want to end with that one again so I'm going to go back to add videos and select that one and click open so now I've got after this screen I have the graphic with all the stuff on the bottom and then that will change to the graphic without the stuff on the bottom for any credits and titles and then back to this one and this one I'll only have on for a few seconds so again uh, between these two for this I'm going to go back to uh, animations and I'm going to scroll down and choose that crossfade and again on that one I'm going to go and choose that crossfade so now all my graphics as I play my graphics my graphics are going to, are going to smoothly fade in from one to the other it's not going to be a sharp uh, what they call a jump cut it'll be a smooth crossfade between the two and then just as I put titles at the beginning I can put titles under this I can do a scrolling credits and uh, and I can easily, if I want to, I can certainly this one here, I can double click on that and I can shorten that down to about three seconds. And this I can double click on that and shorten that down to about three seconds. Double click on this middle one and then stretch that out to about 10 seconds. So now what I'm going to have is at the end of this slide, is I will and I'll do a transition to that final graphic but I have that for a couple seconds then I have a long stretch of this so I can have credit scrolling through and then at the end of that I will have this graphic and that's how the video will stop is with that graphic now all I have to do is add all the audio tracks that I pre-recorded to all these slides and Bob's your uncle so I think that's it for now let's uh Let's move on to step, let's, let's call it a quits for this one and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up again for the next one.